India has relaxed some COVID-19 restrictions, even as infections continue to rise. Some businesses are back at work with fewer staff and traffic is slowly returning. A sense of normal life is resuming in low-risk areas. Selected businesses, including barbers and hair salons, have opened their doors after nearly six weeks in lockdown. Standalone liquor stores have also been allowed to reopen across the country, even in some of the worst-hit districts. And queue long lines as hundreds flocked to purchase alcohol, ignoring safe distancing measures. Police in New Delhi and Bangalore had to step in as the queues swelled and they were forced to shut some stores in order to disperse crowds. Now, the government is keen to lift curbs and restart the economy, but experts warn that the virus is yet to peak. India now has more than 42,000 infections, with the highest single-day jump recorded just yesterday. And Neha Punya joins us live now for more. Neha, how are people adjusting to day one of the new rules? Linda, after 40 days of what was the world's largest stay-at-home order, many people are relieved that uh, at least parts of the country are limping back to normalcy. Uh, we've seen a lot more activity in the last 12 hours than we've seen in the last one month, uh, with traffic uh, really uh, picking up on the roads as well. A lot of people heading back to work with private companies resuming work with one-third of their work capacity. Of course, like you said, uh, this uh, new lockdown with its uh, long list of relaxation and restrictions also brought about chaos and confusion on the ground. We saw long lines outside liquor stores and um that's perhaps the most dramatic scene we've seen play out uh, here in India on Monday, on day one of this reformed lockdown. Uh, of course, uh, imposing uh, safe distancing norms has proved to be the biggest challenge as people continue to step outside their homes in uh, areas where there are fewer or no COVID-19 cases. They've got their masks on, but I think it's going to take some time for people to get used to the idea of maintaining a safe distance, something that the government says is going to be the priority and that people shouldn't assume that we're out of the woods yet. And how coronavirus infections in the country are still going up and even appear to be picking up speed. So how are authorities balancing the economic needs that they have with public health? The biggest uh, way to fight this, the government says, is dividing the country up into colour-coded zones. So red zones, where there are the most number of COVID-19 cases, will be closely watched. The government says that it's going to do a weekly review to see whether or not any of the orange or green zones that have fewer or no cases have actually seen a spurt in cases. And if that happens, they're warning that a strict lockdown may be reinforced. Also, a lot of the activity that's allowed to go ahead, uh, especially like construction or industrial manufacturing, the onus to maintain safe distancing is on uh, the owners of those uh, uh, establishments with the government saying it's very important to keep in mind that you have to maintain safe distancing that's the only way we can allow you to resume functioning so it's going to be um, a question of uh, reviewing these um, these relaxations on a weekly basis, keeping a close eye on to see how, how uh, strictly people are actually adhering to the government's rules. Thanks for that update. Niha Punya speaking to us from New Delhi.